people who have experienced sexual violence often don't want to relive, relive or talk about their experience, um, you know, particularly to an agency which is coming along and trying to collect data. Um, how can agencies monitor whether or not their programming has had a positive effect on reducing incidents of rape or sexual violence given those constraints? <clears throat> well, as uh, as Jenny pointed out in, uh, in 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 the first in a response to the first question, we tend sometimes to focus too much on documenting documenting incidents or series of incidents, uh, while it's not always necessary. The the and the standards regarding the question of data management refer ex explicitly to the questions of uh, necessity when we when you document um, um, protection. Uh, protection data. The first question is that of necessity. What information is really required for the action that is intended? And in many cases, it's not necessary to collect uh, data on individual incidents. You may be able to uh, do a great deal of work uh, by using uh, trends, uh, identified trends, without needing to fully debrief um, a large number of victims that you would re-victimize um, when when it's not uh, when it's not necessary. So this is the the first point that you don't always need to have individual discussion with the victims, and you can have information from uh, other sources. We've called that uh, proxy indicators in the in the in the standards. So other types of information that will give you an indication of um, how the victims or the people at risk th see the evolution of the situations. The there maybe they will change their pattern of movements if the uh, if the situation improves they may they may be uh, moving to places um, um, moving for uh, their daily activities to places further from their usual settlement or uh, reducing the area of movement if the if the types of risk um, increases uh, the, these patterns may vary uh, according to uh, time and place, but there is quite a lot by general interviews with the not only with the victims th themselves, but more with the with the communities, with the people uh, in that particular case, with the women of a community, trying to ensure that you uh, that you factoring the um, the possible bias and that you are really talking to those that would be. Uh, that would be exposed, but you can have uh, quite an important understanding of what are what is the the evolution of the risks over a certain period, and therefore um, uh, see whether your activities or other factors had some impact on uh, on these problems. <coughs> 